Oh, hello. I just wanted to do a little, I don't know what this is called, a little talk or something. It's not about any particular topic. <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of show you what I do in the morning. Um, this is, well, you know, that's if the, uh, my mind doesn't go crazy in the middle of the night and I stay up till three o'clock in the morning wondering about the uh, essence of dark matter, the meaning of life or something. But anyways, I uh, like to get up in the morning if I can. I'm not naturally a morning person, but I, man, that sun's bright. I really do try. Um, <clears throat> even if I have to set my alarm for, <laughs> I don't even want to say because it's embarrassing because people that are morning people are like, yeah, 3.30 in the morning, rise and shine, brother, let me get my cup of coffee. That's uh, my parents wake up that early, so. But if, uh, if I let myself, like, slack off or, like, not be disciplined or whatever, I sleep till noon, no problem. But anyways, I, I try to get to bed at a good time. I really do do my best to try and relax and stuff and get to sleep. Uh, you know, around 10 or 11. And if I can, or if I remember, I'll usually set an alarm for at least like, I don't wanna sleep past nine, okay guys? It's, it's kind of embarrassing to say nine o'clock, but I mean, for someone who's not a morning person, that, you know, it's kind of early, but uh, if I can get up earlier than that, that'd be great. Like, ideally, I'd like to get up. Like this morning, I woke up at 6.30, so that was awesome, and I feel good. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I guess I had the right combination of whatever, food or something or circadian rhythms and all that stuff that happened last night and I got uh, good sleep. So anyways, when that happens, I like to go for a walk first thing in the morning uh, because it's Florida where I live in and I'm south of Tampa, so, you know, it's south Florida, not too far away from the beach, so, um, you know, at least we do have the little sea breeze that helps, but it's still really hot and humid. Um, I know uh, a lot of people don't like hot, humid weather, but, I mean, I've grown up with it my whole life, so I actually kind of like it, but I still don't like it when it's uh, two in the afternoon and it's like... 100 degrees outside with 9,000% humidity. So I like to wake up in the morning and go for a walk then. And the reason I do is I like to have as much of my uh, skin uh, exposed to the early morning sun because the early morning sun uh, isn't as bad as, as far as the amount of UV rays and stuff like that that could damage your skin. And I'm trying to get vitamin D. So as you can see, I'm wearing shorts. So uh, everything except my, I, my face, I try and keep my face covered for the most part. If I don't wear a hat or something, I'll, um, I'll wear sunscreen or a lot of times I'll wear both. Uh, because I mean, how much vitamin D are you gonna make from your face? Probably not much, but you'll definitely uh, <clears throat> get some age spots. So we don't need that, do we? Especially not that, uh, you know, trying to uh, be an Instagram model and a famous influencer and a big YouTube star. I don't uh, want to look old and yucky and sun damaged. So got to be careful, you know, moisturize and exfoliate and things like that. Uh, but uh, I know it's a little more difficult to get sun exposure for people that live in the northern latitudes, I guess. You don't get as much um, year-round. But, I mean, everybody, I would assume, besides unless you live in the North Pole or close to it or like Siberia. Well, God, even Siberia is like 100 degrees right now, so weird. Um Everyone has a summer to an extent, so when you can, um, 
Go outside, man. Take your shirt off. It don't matter. You don't have to look like no fitness model or you don't have to look like Ronnie Coleman in his peak or Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything like that. Dude, just take your shirt off. Quit being a pansy, okay? Stop being insecure and embarrassed. There's nothing to be insecure about. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. So what? You got a little chubby belly and some love handles hanging out or whatever, you know. You got some pimples on your back or something. Who cares, man? Like, just get out and get some sun. I guarantee you, actually, going for a walk and getting sun will, will help all those issues. I mean... I'm prone to, to acne on my back and my shoulders and chest. I always have been, ever since I was a young teenager. And uh, one thing that really helps is, is getting uh, sun exposure. Uh, that and I guess, you know, before, before all the weirdness in the beaches turned into red tide and flesh-eating bacteria and whatever AIDS or whatever else is in the water now, but uh, <laughs> uh, before, you know, uh, sorry, I am allergies a little bit. Maybe it's Aunt Rona. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not. I kicked that bitch's ass. Uh, yeah, so, um, the, the seawater actually helps that as well. So if you struggle with acne, uh, especially on your body, uh, I would suggest getting sun exposure so you can go to the beach for that, but you don't have to and if you if you are close to a beach um, Get in that salt water go swimming for a while, you know tease them sharks Don't don't get out too far so they'll eat you but you know get some uh, salt water on your skin It's good for you and uh, Make sure you get the the Sun those both things will help um, sun exposure um, not only does it produce vitamin D, which is hard to get unless you take a supplement uh, or you drink like a tons of milk or something. Um, you know, the, the best way still even, even, even through supplementation, uh, is going to be the sun. I can't remember the exact numbers, but I want to say it's like 50,000 to 100,000 whatever was it I use or something like that um, that your body can create in I would like half an hour or something of unprotected uh, exposure to the Sun so that's a lot <laughs> that's plenty that's all you need uh, so yeah do that get the D in the morning all right getting the D in the morning is very important okay I'm gonna turn around because I like the nature trail. It was almost ready to end. Get the D in the morning. Make sure to try and get a good night's sleep. Do whatever you uh, can to uh, relax as early on in the evening as you can. Um, so you can wake up early-ish. You know, not like farmer early, but uh, like, I don't know, college boy early, you know eight o'clock or something come out here and get that good morning sun get your vitamin d it'll help your serotonin levels so it'll put you in a better mood throughout the day and a uh vitamin d is also a precursor hormone so um it'll help with your testosterone levels uh and multiple other things too so it's not something that uh you should hide from uh, you shouldn't overexpose yourself, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't just be out here without uh, sunscreen literally all day just baking outside in the Florida sun in the middle of July. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. I'd look like a lobster, but if you do it slowly, and you guys notice I, I get pretty tan naturally, but I didn't do it like in one day. And a lot of you guys think that you go to the beach, you... You stay out there for 12 hours with no sunscreen on and you come out looking like a, a freshly boiled lobster or uh, or one of those Crayola crayon reds and then you're just gonna like uh, it's oh it's gonna oh, it'll it'll tan once I start peeling it'll it'll turn brown 
it, no, that's not how it works, man. You just, you probably just gave yourself skin cancer and uh, you're not gonna tan. You're just gonna peel and look like a ghost again. So how I did it, and no, it's not a freaking spray tan or whatever everybody thinks I'm doing, okay? Uh, Florida starts turning warm pretty early in the year. Uh, even when it's still kind of cool out, but if it's sunny, I'll go out there if I can, if I can handle it like this with my shirt off. And uh, I, I would say even in like late February or something. And I'll go out there for 10, 15 minutes just to get a little bit, a little bit of sun. I mean, granted, I haven't at that point gotten any sun for a while because it has been cold or, you know, I'll have been taking, like I'll be taking five classes this fall <sighs> again at school and um you know there won't be a lot of time for me to walk around with my shirt off i'll probably be going most five days a week and then working on homework uh on the weekends but you still got to find some time so i'll probably <clears throat> do this on the weekends or whatever but when it gets cold you know you cover up a lot and anyways i'm pretty pasty uh definitely definitely white when uh you know uh it's winter time so i start slow Go out for 10 minutes, get direct exposure to the sun, 10, maybe 15 tops, depending on what you can handle. If you're, uh, you know, I don't know, if you're, if you're like, I mean, I have blondish hair and green eyes, but if you're like redheaded and blue eyes and freckles and, you know, you can't take, you're not going to be able to tolerate that much uh, sun, so just start out real slow go out there for five minutes or something and uh <clears throat> get your sun on as much of your body as humanly possible or legally possible within the bounds of the laws of your community or whatever you know if you i would dude if you can do it naked do it naked like as much as you can as much skin exposure as possible because that's how you're gonna get the vitamin d anyways uh that's pretty much it just just wanted to talk about um, taking a sun walk in the morning and like some of the benefits of it and why I do it and why I think everybody else should do it. Not only is walking really good for you and I'm not walking that fast. And I still have, you know, slightly elevated breathing. So I'm getting a, a very minute amount of cardio in and I'm burning some fat. I haven't drank anything yet. I just took my <clears throat> vitamins and aminos and, uh, nectar of the gods so i took all my stuff this morning down a glass of water and um wash my face and yeah got dressed kind of <laughs> and uh now i'm taking my walk so i feel amazing and it'll help me through the rest of the day so if you guys have the opportunity you live in a place where you know at least you can do this for some part of the day or some part of the year rather then most definitely do it. If not, I mean, there's always supplementation. Supplementation is never as good as the natural way, I don't think. Um, but get vitamin D supplements. Supplement with vitamin D. <clears throat> but please don't be scared of the sun. It's not gonna, it's not gonna like kill you. Just, just have some balance. Don't get overexposed, right? Don't don't get underexposed, but don't get overexposed. I, I look at anything like this like anything extreme is bad like you could drink too much water and you'll die from being overhydrated but you can drink too little water and you'll die from being dehydrated so just drink water <laughs> but don't drink too much and don't drink too little same thing with the sun same thing with food same thing with everything so yeah don't be afraid of the sun if you can't because you're an Eskimo or something and you live in an igloo, okay, that was probably kind of racist, sorry. Um, but, you know, something like that. You live in Siberia and you live in a hut all the time or you're inside and you can't go out. I don't know, whatever. Uh, vitamin D supplement or you can get UV light therapy. Um, I don't think it's a, as severe as like a tanning bed, but I know doctors do prescribe... Uh, uh, it's a type of UV light that you can use on your skin to help it produce uh, vitamin D naturally. So 
I mean, well, as naturally as you would consider that. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, get your D in the morning and uh, like and subscribe my, to my video and videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. And uh, stay positive. Don't let anybody bring you down today or any day. And if they try to, fuck them. Fuck the haters. All right? Love you guys. Have a good one.